And I need to get a volunteer from the audience. Now, it doesn't matter who, it could be anyone, any age, any uh, size. And, oh, right back here, young lady with the, uh, with the flowery dress on. Yeah, come on up here. Awesome, come on right down here. Come on up here. Right, first, we need to make sure that you're the right uh, height for the height. What we need you to do. If you could stand up to our measuring stick. And let's see, you come in right at 1.3 billion nanometers tall. Wow, can you believe it? <laughs> Perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Nice. Uh, okay, uh, what's your name? Marina, everyone, uh, I'd like to introduce our assistant for the next bit in the show, everyone. This is Marina. Marina! Okay, okay, Marina. Uh, what we need you to do is stand right here on the trap door. That's nice. Okay, that's good. And I'm gonna have right you there, Marina. Here. Don't and, move, uh, Marina. We have something really important for you to do. What I need you to do is, if you could put out your left hand and hold on to this one there. Yep, you can hold it up a little bit higher, nice there and strong. Go. Okay, now, Marina, you are holding the nucleus of an atom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, hold on, folks. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Stand. Stand. Hold it. Yeah. You just said a nanometer is too small to see. That's right. So an atom is too small to see. Well, yeah. How can we be seeing something inside of an atom? Oh, well, Joel, this oh. isn't an actual nucleus of an atom. You understand that, right, Marina? Yeah, this is a model of the nucleus of an atom, a bundle of protons and neutrons. Uh, it looks like a bunch of plastic balls glued together to me, no, folks. Listen. It's not like real. Like I said, Joel, it's a model. This is a model. You mean... Marina is a mo oh, like a supermodel. Oh, Joel. Marina, hit it. no oh, way! Joel, look at Rick Joel. And I, you're on a look, this, what Marina is holding, is a model that represents the nucleus of an atom, which I will have oh. you know is even smaller than a nanometer, which is a billionth of a meter. You're starting to get it. Okay, uh, Marina, we need you to hold this nice and strong right in front of you with both hands, okay. just like that. And this next part's going to get a little bit mysterious, so we're going to dim down the lights. Well, <laughs> Marina, are you afraid of the dark? No. I am. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> okay. Whoa, okay. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, Marina, don't move. <laughs> okay, Dan. Yes, Joel. So you and I... Uh, wait, Marina is being the nucleus. That's right. What are we doing? You and I, Joel, are doing the electrons. You see, the nucleus of every atom is surrounded by a whizzing, zooming bunch of electrons. And they're moving so fast, it's hard to tell where one is at any given time. It's like an electron cloud. Wicked awesome! Yes, and as you can see, atoms are mostly empty space. What? Yeah, atoms are mostly empty space. Between Marina, our nucleus here, and the whirling cloud of electrons, yeah. well, there's just not a lot of there, there. As a matter of fact, if we were going to do this to scale, Marina could stand here in the middle of the stage, and you and I might have to throw these electrons from across the street. Come on! Or all the way from Fenway Park. No way! Or as far as Lexington, or Concord. You expect me to believe that? What's in all that empty space? Nothing, just forces, I guess. And may the force be with you. Hey! Hey! Right, here, take these. Wait, wait, hold on.